check. First thing first. I'm going to just do it. I'm going to add another segment to the show. Uh, you know, a lot of times in my videos, I start saying something, then I say that's a story for another day, and I never finish it ever. And people be wanting, like, nigga, finish that, man. Finish that, man. Hey! It's just like, you know? So, I will be doing, like, a show, you know, outside of the comic book world, you know, IRL, right? Called Story for Another Day. And it's and basically, right, it will be what I expected the Michelle show to be in the first place when I first started this channel. I didn't expect to do no reaction channel, right? That's a story for another day. One thing, another thing. I made a post and I said something alive about a certain woman. I was like, man, I got to get this woman, but I need to get 5,000 uh, followers on Instagram first because you know she ain't going, you know. Something interesting happened. I'm at 5,000 now. Something interesting. Like I say, that's a story for another day. Stay tuned. It's, it's, it got something to do with a situation in my life right now. And I just like, I don't know, man. I don't got the charisma and energy to even to be even be reacting right now, right? But this is, we can't miss this. This is, <coughs> this is life or death situation between me and Black Pegasus. So we got Red Fox. <laughs> Michelle showed this part too. <laughs> Hold on. So he's saying that the rapper is Red Fox. So he gonna be rapping as Red Fox, and then we got Predator. That's like that's like. I wish it wasn't Predator right there because that's what everybody used. That's kind of like um, what's his name? Beast Boy. That was the main thing he used, and everybody else because I got dreads. But I think he gonna flip it in a way. I got confidence that he can use it in a way that's new and unique. Let's go. Michelle show, you gon' have to let go. Couldn't walk a day in my shoes. How you snatching my soul? Tongue tied, but they know. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! I, I just want to say something. I think that, and it's so unexpected for it to be him, but he might be like the best battler on YouTube. I don't know. Like, I thought it was between Dada, Six Seconds, and Grizzy, but <laughs> I think he might be better than all them niggas. Um, it just is what it is, man. That's just my honest opinion. Uh, Dada, I don't know because they actually just did a debatable battle, so I can't just say for sure that he better than Dada, but I think he better than them other two. I think, I think they, I don't, I don't want to go too far, man. Couldn't walk a day in my shoes. Michelle, show you gonna have to let go. Couldn't walk a day in my shoes. How you snatching my soul? Tongue tied, but they know that I mastered the flow. Not a tool or a hoe, but this ratchet gonna blow. Take your face off, so your casket gonna close. Ironic, the white room got me blacking on foes. Fuck cocaine, you could snort crack up your nose. Angry text message, you're all capping your flows. Just in Houston, boy. Angry. <coughs> angry text message you all capping your flow okay it works i got you angry text message you're all capping your flows this in houston boy when you gonna learn your girl getting chopped and screwed till this court is adjourned the astro world opened a portal for cern developed in a dark room should be more than concerned give you bars what do you say hold on chopped and screwed till this court is adjourned the astro and then the crazy part is that was my favorite music <clears throat> growing up, too. That's the only reason. OK, I want to say story for another day, but I'm going to finish it this time. My biggest influence that made me want to start rapping was Chameleon Air. So that's that. That probably explained unorthodox because that nigga is unorthodox as fuck, right? So that was the reason i think if it wasn't for comedian i would have never tried or attempted to rap anything so that's that uh fuck with houston heavy mike jones who is mike jones is probably my second favorite album of all time i still listen to it that's what i work out to back then they didn't want me now i'm hot they all on me so 
I wasn't really dissing Houston. I was dissing your ass, nigga. <laughs> This in Houston, boy, when you gon' learn Your girl getting chopped and screwed till this court is adjourned The astro world opened a portal for CERN Developed in a dark room, should be more than concerned Give you bars, sentence, without an editor I'm Danny Glover, you look just like the predator Too old for this shit, this how you catch a predator Show up to your job, my work ethic is not regular Keep it above Hey, that's Fire. Lover, you look just like the predator. Too old for this shit. This how you they catch a predator. predator. Show up to your job. My work ethic is not regular. Ooh. The buck. Come on, let's be honest. You eat ass and toes. You must hate your orthodontist. A walk in abortion. That's sad and pathetic. Ironic Eugene's knows nothing about eugenics. I'm Gen X. Hey. <laughs> I don't know what eugenics is though. Let me look that up. I know what I think it means, like genes, like the study of genes and shit like that. But I just want to make sure, man. Let me see, cause I was wondering how can how to flip Eugene, and I never knew of a way because. Mm, okay. To improve the genetic quality of human population. Eugenic, eugenics. Damn, I never even knew that word existed. I should have stayed in school. Damn, that's the first time I ever heard that. That's crazy. It's hard battling smart niggas, man. Like these niggas know more words than shit. They <laughs> coming with shit. Nigga, what's the biggest word I said? Nigga, I don't even know. Toes, you must hate your <laughs> orthodontist. Damn, orthodontics. Like my nigga. Niggas coming with words I don't even know the meaning to. I'm guessing this the, the doctor for your feet or some shit. Let me look up orthodox and like, man, fuck. What's that, the foot doctor? I mean, I can easily context this shit because of the bars you're using, but I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a foot doctor. Oh, man. I just want... When I die, or if I get whooped on, I want to know exactly why I'm losing and what hit hard and when, you know, what's going on, nigga. I don't want no fake death. I want a real death. Come on, let's be honest. You eat ass and toes. You must hate your orthodontist. A walk in abortion. That's sad and pathetic. Ironic Eugene's knows nothing about eugenics. I'm Gen X. And then, and then... That's like damn near a triple because I don't know what it. I obviously just had to look the word up, so I don't know about eugenics. That's crazy. Now you dissing my label. Jeans knows nothing about eugenics. I'm Gen X. Now you dissing my label. We's on tour getting money while you was losing your cable. This the difference. Of well, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I didn't have cable. It was bad. It was rough. I didn't have cable. I watched Cat Dog for the first day the other day, and I'm like, damn, this show interesting. This shit was on cable, so I didn't watch it. I like, damn, like Cat was getting mad as fuck at Dog. It's a story for another day. Headlocks and headshots. You never should your cable. This the difference of headlocks and headshots. You never should have put dreadlocks first. Red Fox, fallopian two bars. That's what you giving me. You'll never grow up with that premature delivery. I love you. I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> I know that this this isn't for me. It's at me, but I know it's not for me. So I'm not gonna bring up that I can I can damn near predict what you about to say before you say it. But that's only because I watch battle rap so much, so it's easy to see the schemes and stuff coming. But I know this for the people, right? So we're going to keep it going. What you giving me, you'll never grow up with that premature delivery. I laugh when they think that you're under my skin. We can go bar for bar, a knuckles to chin. We can go car for car and scuff up these Tims. I'll show up to your funeral. Mm, I want to reach real quick. I'm sorry. I, I want to reach for you real quick. We could go bar for bar, a knuckles to chin, like a pull up bar. I'm feeling like red top. They gonna pull up bar, knuckles to chin, bar for bar. Hold on, my nigga. Reaching, Michelle, show reaching. Oh, shit. Hey, I'm sorry, man. Red top got me expired, man. He, he inspired me. It's like, I wanna reach like that, nigga. <laughs> we can go car for car and scuff up these Tims. I'll show up to your funeral and piss on your friends. It's getting late. Well, well. 
And it's curfew, drive a Lex, but you caught an L in this circle. I heard you obsessed because I'm bigger than you, Napoleon. I never heard that one. I never heard that one. Man, <clears throat> you know what I wish this was? I wish that we actually battle like URL type shit, like live on stage in a crowd. Because I would like to see the crowd reaction to some of these bars on both sides, man, because... Like the way you rap, you also battle rapping too. You also battle rapping on beat, but you got more flow than me, so it sound more fluid. But you also battle rapping. You doing a four bar setup the same way. Like my whole style was the four bar setups. So <clears throat> you two bar and four bar setup in me. Um, but like I say, I wish this was on like a URL stage with crowd interaction. Just I want to see how they react to that that circle bar, the L in the circle, Lexus. Getting late, well, and it's curfew, drive a Lex, but you caught an L in this circle. I heard you obsessed, cause I'm bigger than you. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's actually deeper than I thought. Napoleon Complex, I heard you obsessed, cause I'm bigger than you. Napoleon Complex, for internet dudes, shock value conducted. This Copperfield escape the white room. Yeah, I'm David Copperfield. Everything I drop, the fans either Copperfield nightclub hitting. Even so, I said this before, and I'm gonna repeat it. Um, the David Copperfield, Copperfield. Um, I be I, I got tired of those 30 years ago. Um, when when I first said that shit when I was in kindergarten. Uh, yeah, I, I said this before uh, in a reaction. I forgot which one it was, but somebody did a David Copperfield, Copperfield. But let's like say, uh, uh, I don't like that one just because only because of the fact that I heard it a lot. A lot of people may have not. Everything I dropped, the fans either Copperfield nightclub hitting, even the cops would feel everyone on my nuts trying to Copperfield. I'm here to make nine and. Clock and spin, hot for real. Better learn from the OG. Goodbye, white room. I am not Koji. Goodbye, white room. I am not Koji. Who is I am not? Who is I am not Koji though? I don't know who that is. Hold on. I don't even know how to spell it. Let me turn the captions on. See if it let me. Goodbye, white room. Goodbye, white room. Oh, they ain't even spelling it right. I and I Koji. Somebody gonna have to tell me who that is. Like, if it's some Star Wars shit or something like something I never seen or never watched, I ain't gonna understand what you're saying on that. One. It sounds like some Star Wars shit. I and I Koji. I and I Koji. So, <clears throat> I think that was fire as fuck. I think that, um, in my opinion, between all the disses, the two he did at me and the one I did at him, I think that that's the best one out of all of them, in my opinion. Uh, but like I say I can't. I'm not. I, I'm not a rapper, so I don't have the stamina to keep going back and forth. So I can't. I can't do. I'm not gonna force myself to do that shit. But um, I'm gonna say that. That's definitely the best one, in my opinion, even though some of, I think just only a few of the lines was like this. Most of them hit extra hard. Some of them were so multi-layered that even when I'm editing, like when I edit this to upload today, I'm going to be like, damn, I didn't even know that, that this got another meaning, too, because like I say some of that shit was like deep as fuck. Now, nah, I wish you would have I wish you would have shot a video because like I say. I went crazy on a video. I went crazy on a video, my nigga. That shit took days, nigga. That shit took like two, two and a half to three days to finish editing all that shit in that video because I was working. If I was off, I could have did it in one day. Trust me. But like I said that took like damn three days to put that video together and tell that story. <coughs> 
and tell that motherfucking story. But I, I, I'm in the comment, man. I gotta watch some of these Diddy videos. They, it's so many Diddy videos, and I just be like overlooking that shit. I don't even know what this nigga did still. But anyway, y'all, let me. Who is that? Get the fuck out of here! Why they keep showing this nigga everywhere? Anyway, like I say on the show, um, I will be trying to start, you know, the first episode of that sometime next week or the week out of that. But like I say I got some shit going on. I fucked up. I went too far. Fucked up. Um, yeah. <laughs>